In this video, I'll show you how to build automated trading strategies with Forex Tester's Visual Strategy Builder. All right, so this is the Visual Strategy Builder by uh, Forex Tester, and you can get a link to how to access this uh, below this video. This is very much a beta testing product, so they just wanted to throw it out there and see what people thought of it and how they could make it better. So uh, keep in mind that it's very basic, and um, I don't know if you could build completely automated trading strategies with this tool as it is. However, I believe that you can use it to test some ideas that you have. And I, I personally believe that most people aren't cut out to be fully automated traders, but we can use automated trading to test some ideas and uh, you know see what works and have a quick test so that you can get some ideas on where to go next and I think that's what this can be really good for so let's take a look at it so I logged in I created a free account I have um, gone to my profile page and the first thing you want to do is create a strategy so you can build strategies templates and indicators um, I think most people are going to be uh, most interested in strategies but indicators are definitely a good one to look at also so let's go into strategies and then create a strategy and we'll give the strategy a name okay so create strategy and then you have this visual interface that allows you to uh, create these strategies um, according to all of these different elements like the value the price, the time, then you have all these indicators that you can use, right? Now, the thing that we want to start with is a basic idea. What what kind of what idea do you have that you want to test out? So, one of the big things in trading is a moving average, right? So, maybe what what if we bought if price is above a certain moving average? So, for example, let's say that uh, the, let's take the 50 moving average, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add price here and then we're gonna say price mm, greater than right so let's drag greater here and then greater than the moving average so we'll take the moving average and drop that in there most platforms have a moving average feature so I think uh, this is a good one to test so let's take a look at the 50 moving average I'm gonna change this to 50 and then let's go to uh, exponential. I like the exponential moving average. We'll apply that and that's good to go. Okay, so this is very basic. Obviously, you know, you wouldn't only wanna take longs, but let's just try this out for the sake of this exercise. Now, once this condition happens, when price is greater than the, moving, the 50 moving average, exponential moving average, now what are you gonna do? So this is the action so let's say we're going to open a market order right and then we're going to edit this market order and we'll do a buy let's do let's do a 0.5 and then uh we'll keep everything else as it is except for the stop loss and take profit so let's just say that we're going to do a 25 pip stop loss and a 250 pip take profit so 10 basically 10 r trade uh, we'll leave the rest of it as it is just for simplicity and we'll save it now once you've created this uh, created your rules for this trading strategy hit save at the bottom here and you'll see that the save uh, the changes are saved and then you can hit test strategy on the bottom and then you can do one of three things you could either download it for MetaTrader 4 and that will give you the um, ex4 file uh, so you can upload it you can download it for Meta Editor, which will give you the source code or the MQ, I think the MQ4, MQ04 file, whatever the source file is for MetaTrader. And then you can download it for Forex Tester 4. And that will give you the DLL file that you can install and start testing it. So let's do it that way. Because I've always found MetaTrader's backtesting feature a little, uh, not, not so easy to use. So I'm gonna download that file. Let me take a look here is the strategy being downloaded okay yes so I have a DLL file downloaded as you can see down here now what I'm gonna do on my other screen is I'm gonna drop it into 
my Windows machine so that we can start running it on Forex Tester 4. So I'll put this in there and then have that update. Cool. Okay, so now that that's on my Windows machine, I'm going to hop over to my Windows machine and then we're going to create a new project. So we're going to go new project and then I'm going to test this on the Let's call it, so this is test one. Let's call it test two, because I already have a test one. And GBP, JPY. And on the daily chart, right? So we're gonna go next. And then I'm going to find the pound yen, which is right here, whoops. And then it's gonna test it from 2003 until 2019. So that's good. We're going to, Create the ticks. Okay, so once that happens, it will start testing, but now we need to pause this here and then we need to upload the strategy. So we're gonna to go to list of strategies and then uh, we're gonna uncheck the one that's currently there and then we'll go install new strategy and then install that test one strategy that we had. So this one. Install. Okay, strategy strategy is installed. Now we check on this, and then you have to check the properties. Uh, Forex Tester has this weird thing where you need to set the symbol. I don't know why that's necessary, but uh, so you set the symbol there. Time frame. Let's do the daily. I mean, yeah, the daily, and then apply and close. Okay, now make sure that the strategy button is clicked. Right, that's unclicked. This is clicked. When, it, when it's blue. Okay, so that's selected. Now we're gonna start the test. And just to show you what's going on here, or for you to get a better idea of what's going on, I'm gonna put the moving average in there. So we're gonna go 50 exponential and it's gonna be yellow. Okay, now let's start it up. Since this is automated, let's put this on full speed and go. Oh, I'm sorry, it starts in the one minute. So let's, um, oops, so let's, go over to the one day since we changed it to daily. Okay, there we go. Now let's start that up. Oh, I didn't put the uh, moving average back in on this time frame. So, let's see. Okay, yeah, Forex Tester has this weird thing where you have to add the indicator to each time frame. I don't get that, but okay, so let's start it up. And here we go. So as you can see, every time price closes above the 50 moving average, you get a buy order. Uh, if it's below the moving average, it doesn't do anything. And it just simply arbitrarily sets the stop loss at 25 pips and the take profit at 250 pips. Now this is obviously a bad trading system, right? Or is it? Let's see, let's find out. Now, obviously, I'm not going to have you watch all of the trades. Uh, that would take too long. But uh, I've run the test already. I let it run. And this was the result on the pound yen. So I think you might find this surprising. If we go to view and statistics, we can see that we started with a $10,000 account. And we had a 10% win rate. Now, ordinarily you might think that's terrible, right? And it usually is, but if you set your uh, profit targets wide enough, or you have a big enough profit target, to, profit target to make up for the losses, then, you know, some of these systems can potentially be profitable. So we had a 10% win rate, but we also had a 900% return. So uh, that's phenomenal. Now, I'm not saying that you should trade this. I don't think this is a viable trading strategy. And uh, it, it only seems to work on the pound, pound yen. I tried it on other currency pairs and it just tanked the account. So uh, this is the only one where it seemed to work. And I don't think that, uh, you know, this is a viable trading strategy unless you really put it through its paces and figure out why this is the case and why this works. One thing I did notice with the execution is that if you look at the bottom here, uh, the, uh, the EA is opening two trades per signal. And I don't know why that is. I'm gonna have to look into that, but uh, it's only opening, it's only supposed to open one, but
but it's opening too. So I don't know why that's happening. So uh, realistically, you're probably gonna, you're looking at a 400, you know, 50-ish percent return, but which is still pretty phenomenal. So I think this would be a really good jumping off point to uh, possibly refining the strategy uh, and seeing why, why only the long side, right? Why does the long side work so well? And I, I've tried uh, different variations of this with just the short side and long and short, and they both did terrible. But for some reason, the long side seems to work uh, pretty well. So you could experiment with different moving averages, different uh, lot sizes. This is a fixed lot size also. So if you tested something with percentages, like risking 1% per trade, that might give you a, a better or different result at least. Uh, so this is one way that you can use the visual strategy builder as a quick and dirty way to test some ideas that you have. Now, obviously, I don't think that this is ready for prime time yet. They have said that this is very much a beta product and they just want to get out there and get it out there and test some basic features. So you're not going to be able to do things that are too complex. Like, for example, you can't do um, uh, candlestick patterns. Uh, they don't have that yet. But if you want to test some very basic things, uh, related to common indicators and price movement, then this can be a good way to get started. So again, if you want to try this out, the link is below this video. Uh, that I don't think they publicly advertise that anywhere. So this is the beta testing project. So you can uh, get the link down there. And uh, if you found this useful, hit subscribe because that helps me make more videos. All right, thanks for watching.